can hear each one is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, altogether it would be like... <laughs> Pretty amazing that uh, you can get something like that from a list piece. Very cool. This next piece I'm going to play, another Bach piece for you, and uh, it's a cello piece, which I really like. Uh, I love the sound of the cello, and it's a very long piece. It's probably over three minutes long of uh, just one cello uh, in this cello suite by Bach, and uh, I like it a lot. No, there's not really one part of it that's mega, mega fast. I mean, you, won't, you don't need the drill for this one, uh, but it's really beautifully composed, and it's certainly technically challenging to be able to get through the whole thing without messing up because it's a pretty long piece. Uh, other notes about it, it's, um, it's, I mean, anything that goes that long is going to have a lot of different techniques in it. There's a little part where I do a little sweep picking, you know, a very small amount. Uh, every really kind of picking there is. I do alternate picking. I do some things where I have to do a bunch of downstrokes in a row or a bunch of upstrokes in a row. And the tempo of this is such that you could almost do it with all downstrokes. You don't need a lot of, uh, you know, you don't need a fancy technique to play this, but sometimes uh, things like a couple downstrokes in a row actually sound better than, uh, than alternate picking. Even though it's not as efficient, you can't go as fast, the tone you get from doing those downs in a row will make it a little bit heavier and put a little more emotion into it. So let me give it a try. This is uh, the Bach Cello Suite number three. In, uh, actually, it's originally in the key of C, but I'm playing it in the key of E since I'm tuned up to normal... Uh, guitar. Here it is, the Bach Cello Suite number three. Here it goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
In honor of part two, I, uh, I've got a new guitar for part two. This is uh, an Ibanez Flying V from the, uh, from the 70s. I think it's like a 1977. Kind of a hard thing to find, but if you can, they're awfully cool. Ibanez has been making amazing guitars for a long time. And uh, with this one, I'll play you a uh, little song by Mozart. This is uh, from a movie, or at least the first time I heard it was in the movie Amadeus. So, which is a movie about uh, Mozart, and I think this is the first thing you hear actually in the movie. It's a um, this is the theme from uh, Symphony Number no. Twenty Five, I believe, and it uh, it's good for picking. It's uh, basically just a couple notes with the left hand, but then a lot of picking with the right. And uh, I like the sound of this one. Check it out in the key of G. <laughs> That's definitely a good one for uh, working on just picking one note real fast. Uh, I think a lot of something you might want to keep in mind when you do that is how you have your hand anchored to the guitar. A lot of people will use uh, a couple fingers of their right hand and, and actually put it on the pick guard and move their arm. Uh, I tend to use my wrist a little more and actually keep my hand anchored on the bridge and just move it back and forth like that. So it's a little bit of arm, but mostly wrist in that. Uh, well, let's see. As we move on, again, thanks for sticking around for uh, part two here, hanging in there with the uh, classical music. Um, next thing we got is a Beethoven piece, this is a piano piece I learned, called Rage Over a Lost Penny. And uh, this one also has some real good picking stuff in it, although it's uh, not just one note, so you got to sync up the two hands when you play this also. Also, there's some, actually some cool left-hand stuff in it, too. Let me uh, play it. You can hear how it sounds. I believe it's in the key of uh, E, and this is Beethoven, Rage Over a Lost Penny. <laughs> 